Uh, the reaction is there, bromine with methanoic acid. The kinetic of the reaction can be investigated by various or different methods are there. Uh, for two different uh, name substance, identify a method of the following progress, uh, method of following the progress of the reaction. And the methods given should be different from each for each substance and should not involve taking a sample from a reaction mixture. So we cannot mention that technique in which we normally quench. So as you can see here, first we have a bromine molecule and then we have a bromide ion. So bromine molecule, aqueous bromine, that is orange in color, but bromide ion is colorless. So what we can use, the first technique, we can use calorimeter. And calorimeter, it will work with reagent. So substance bromine is there and the technique will be calorimeter or calorimetry. And the second substance here, which we have, you can see a gas is given off. So the substance too can be a carbon dioxide and we can method, we can measure the volume of a gas or volume of a carbon dioxide with respect to time. So we can identify the speed or the rate of reaction. The second part, in an investigation of a kinetics of the reaction, a large excess of methanoic acid is, was used. Use the data on page 12 to plot a graph and determine the order of a reaction with respect to bromine. So why we use methanoic acid in excess so that uh, there will be a negligible change, comparative change will be negligible. So the rate does not depend on the concentration of methanoic acid and only bromide ion change or bromine molecule changes. How we identify what kind of reaction, whether it's a first order, second order or zero order. So the shape of the graph, using a shape of a graph, we can determine the order of reaction. So next page, the values are given. We will use those values. If concentration and time graph, if it's a straight line slope is constant, it means that is a zero order reaction because rate is not changing. How to identify it's a first order. So when a concentration and time graph, it is a curve. First thing, it should be a curve. So it can be a second, first order or second order. But the second thing, what should happen? that the half-life should be constant. Like example, if we have 100 moles in the beginning, then 100 moles convert into 50 moles in say two seconds. So it's 50 moles should convert into 25 also in two seconds. So if it's a first order, then the half-life must be same. If it is a zero order, it means the slope will be constant. And if it's a second order, then initial half-life will be shorter, but as the reaction progress or proceed, that half-life will increase. So this is a table given and using this table, uh, the concentration of a bromine will take on y-axis and the time interval will be there on x-axis and we'll plot a graph, we'll label the axis, time is on x-axis and the concentration is on y-axis. And after labeling the axis, We'll plot a graph and using the values, we'll plot a graph and identify whether it is a first order or because if it's a curve, it means it either it will be a first or a second order. It's a straight line. It means it will be a zero order. And using this uh, graph, we will work out the half-life and using the half-life, we determine the order of the reaction. If half-life is constant, it means first order. If half-life is not constant, it means it is a second order. Next part, use the graph to confirm the, that the reaction is first order with respect to bromine. So how we can uh, use the graph, as I mentioned previous uh, part, that for a first order reaction, whenever you have a graph for concentration on y-axis and time on x-axis, concentration of the reactant, and you have a graph. So how you can confirm it's a first order? So you will take, like example, this is 100 mole. 100 changes to 50 in two minutes. So 50 change to 25 also in two minutes. So if the half-life is constant, it means if the same half-life is there, it means the reaction is first order reaction. 
Under the condition of experiment, the order of a reaction with respect to methanoic acid appear to be zero. Explain why this is a case. So as they mentioned already in the question that we use a large or greater amount of methanoic acid. So if we took a large or excess of methanoic acid, so negligible, it will react, but the concentration of the methanoic acid does not change significantly or a very small change in a concentration because the methanoic acid is in a large quantity. So as the methanoic acid is in excess or a large quantity, so very small change is there. In the concentration of methanoic acid, that's why it appeared to be zero order with respect to methanoic acid. Then further experiment shows that the reaction is actually first order with respect to methanoic acid. So this experiment, the first, it is first order with respect to methanoic acid and it is first order with respect to bromine. And we have to write a rate equation. So in a rate equation, rate is equals to the rate constant, which is K concentration of methanoic acid which is HCOH and the concentration of bromine. And this is the first order whenever concentration should be there in a square bracket. And as it is a first order reaction, so either you can write one or you, if you don't write one, that is also correct. Because if nothing is written, it means there is one. Then the initial rate of a reaction carried out in part B1 was found to be 4.54 exponent minus 5. The initial concentration of methanoic acid and bromine is there. We have to find the value for K, the rate constant, and you have to mention the unit. So first, how to get, the, they provide the value as we know the, the rate equation, rate is equals to K times concentration of uh, methanoic acid and the concentration of a bromine. So rate is 4.54 into 10 power minus 5. K, the concentration of methanoic acid. They mentioned here 0 0.5. And the concentration of a bromine is 0 0.01. So we divide to get the value of a K, which will be 0 0.009. So the value of the K after solving 0 0.009 is the value of the K. Then what about the unit of the K? Look how to work out the unit. Unit of rate is mole per dm cube. And because rate is speed of the reaction change in concentration, mole per dm cube per second. So when we simplify it is mole second per dm cube. Unit of concentration is mole per dm cube. And unit of concentration is mole per dm cube. So this mole per dm cube will cancel with this. So one side we are left with second and other side we are left with mole per dm cube. So when we simplify dm cube will be multiplied. And this is uh, mole per dm cube. So this we move in numerator. So more the unit of uh, rate will be mole dm cube and this second will be there because the change in concentration divided by time. So more dm cube second here when we cross. So we're left with here one over second this side. And this one is k. So dm cube will be multiplied there. So dm cube multiplied second is there more when we write all in numerator. So dm cube second inverse mole inverse. 